And now for your health. As we know, medical radiation can save lives. Radiation treats cancer, scans bodies. But today, a question. Can doctors be sure how much radiation the machines are delivering? Here's John McKenzie. The radiation from CT scans produces such exquisitely precise images. But there's a problem. Dr. Rebecca Smith Binman reviewed the CT images of a thousand patients at four of San Francisco's largest hospitals and found radiation doses varied wildly. Some patients received 20 times more radiation than others for the same type of test, even within the same hospital. We don't have standards that say this is allowable, this is not allowable. This is an area that has really lacked close oversight. So radiologists, eager to get the clearest picture possible, can order higher doses of radiation and few hospitals bother to check. Then there's the CT machine itself with its sophisticated software tracking dozens of different measurements. But the most important, the actual radiation level, is not clearly displayed. In terms of a single number that this is the radiation dose that the patient gets, that's not really on here. It's not there. You have to calculate it. So there's no one place on the screen that tells you right now how much radiation a patient would be getting. That's right. In Los Angeles and Huntsville, Alabama, more than 300 patients getting CT scans last year were accidentally given up to eight times more radiation than they were supposed to. It's only when some started losing hair did anyone know there was a problem. Radiation therapy can have similar problems. Patricia Quirk was given radiation to kill her cancer cells. It killed her, perforating her bowel. Hospital records show she was given 50% more radiation than the doctor ordered during 17 days of treatment, and no one noticed. they, they got to have rules, standards to follow, double-check this. This never should have happened, and I pray to God it never happens to anybody again. These accidents are rare, but experts say patients should ask their doctor whether tests or treatments using radiation are really needed, that they be done using the lowest radiation levels possible, and that the doctor check the dose actually given throughout a patient's therapy. John McKenzie, ABC News, San Francisco. And we do have some helpful tools. If you're going to be getting radiation testing or treatment, go to our website. They're right there at abcnews.com.